Welcome to Hobbiton! And you're watching the Fantastic Four! the Hobbiton movie set, um, waiting for our tour bus to take us out to the Shire. Um, we're already sort of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, there aren't a lot of crowds here and it is a beautiful sunny day. Um, birds are chirping and we can already tell it's going to be a lot of fun and we're really excited. First Lord of the Rings movie is where Frodo stood um, to greet Gandalf who walked down this path here. That was like the opening scene. Gandalf walks down this path and Frodo stands here and um, when they filmed it um, Gandalf was pretty up close and Frodo was actually standing pretty far behind um, in something called forced perspective um, to make Gandalf look big and to make um, the actor who plays Frodo who is um, you know obviously bigger than Hobbit in real life to make him look really small to make him look like a lot smaller than the wizard. So that was kind of interesting. So behind me here is a little tiny hobbit hole. Um, the regular size actors would shoot on these size of holes um, to make them look bigger and then they have like hobbit holes that are about twice this size maybe um, for the actors who are hobbits to make them look small compared to the compared to the doors. So like I said earlier um, they have the really tiny little hobbit holes um, which we already showed you and then this is one of the bigger ones that they used um, for the actors who are hobbits to make them look tiny in front of the big doors. Outside of Bilbo's house and um, in the very first movie um, Bilbo and Gandalf sat right there and smoked some pipes and then there's a pan out to the sunset except for in New Zealand that way is the sunrise so um, the crew got up like super early a couple of mornings I think three mornings in a row and they filmed the sunrise and then they fixed it all in the editing room to make it look like a sunset. So each individual hobbit hole, um, which aren't actually holes by the way, um, most of these are just like fronts kind of stuck into the ground. Um, if you'd open the door there'd be nothing behind it. But um, they decorated the front of these um, to sort of give a hint as to what each individual hobbit um, does for a living. So this is the beekeeper's house. As you can see there's like um, a honeycomb, um, honey, um, honey hive over there and then you can't see it but in front um, are little tiny jars of honey and the mailbox has a little bee on it which is really cute. Um, as you can see, there's some moss and growth on these fences, which was all faked. Um, I believe they used um, like paint or wood chips and they um, painted it to look like moss and they stuck it all on. And then they um, put some yogurt on it to attract real moss. Um, there's a little bit of real moss, but um, a lot of it is largely fake. We are 
up here on top of the hill. Um, here's a nice bird's eye view of the Shire. It's really beautiful. And um, as you can see, they are really embracing the tiny house movement. <laughs> So here we are right now at a replica of the Green Dragon, which is the local watering hole for the hobbits of the town, and we are enjoying a lovely ginger beer. It's delicious. Thanks for watching! We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to comment who your favorite Middle Earth character is. Mine, personally, is Frodo. And if you'd like, subscribe because we have a lot more fun videos coming your way. Thanks for watching!